So I'm getting there with the racking for the rowing boat in the back wall of the shed. So these posts here are three metres apart. They're too far apart to mount a bracket directly. Because you need to support the boat by the gunnels where those brackets are sitting right now. So if I put those brackets directly onto the vertical posts, it'd be easier. But you'd be supporting the boat sort of here on this soft, non-structural part. Where you need to be supporting it on the structural firm gunnel part. So that's why I've got these two 16mm square steel poles going across. Put some plastic end caps on here just to make it a bit prettier. Got two bolts for security, so it's bolted through these poles, they're sort of hollow. So you might be able to see behind. It was sort of looked like that with the bolt behind this piece. So I'm just got a magnetic pin here. I'm trying to sight where I'm going to put the brackets on here. So I'm just sort of old fashioned style. Put the boat horizontally across. That only just fits in the shed. Lucky. The boat was half a metre longer wouldn't fit. The shed's about nine metres across. The boat's approximately eight and a half metres, so it sort of just fits in, if you see. <laughs> That's the bow with the ball there, and the stern just fits in. But I've measured it up this way, so you might have to go with the stern to the left always, so it's easy to do. I'm happy with that. So i just got to spend some time sighting through here does that match up with a pen, magnetic pen that I can move? So I play around with that for a while and then I can bolt these onto those horizontal rails. So I've got my point to drill here. Just a little note, I've got masking tape on the top so when you drill into the metal the drill bit doesn't move around before it actually bites, it sort of bites into where you want it to go. And you want to drill a pilot hole about three and a half millimeter diameter small hole and then through that hole you drill the bigger drill bit which these will be six millimeters the other ones here are eight millimeter holes so in metal a bit of masking tape on there drill a small pilot hole and then do a bigger hole a bit of a metal working drilling tip for your viewers actually got that tip off my grandpa many years ago of course don't forget your safety glasses when you're drilling so these brackets are heavy duty stayed brackets, 600 mil on the top by 300 vertical, 40 mils wide and 4.5 mil thick. So the top of the boat's about 43 centimetres wide, so there's plenty of room on the top there for it to fit. So that's the first bracket on. I've decided to put it behind this pole. It just looked a bit more sturdier that way. Any engineers watching can comment. In the comments below. So I've got one done. A little bit of flex in the system but um, let's get the other one done now. Just look at that masterpiece. All the brackets are done now. Just take the boat sits in the right position and I've measured everything correctly. There's a little bit of flex in the system but um not too much. Boat weighs less than 20 kilos without the riggers. Um, these have a bit of flex in them too for the kayak so let's see how it goes. So I just use my luggage scales so the boat comes out at 13 and a half kilos in weight without the riggers. So I've just weighed the riggers they weigh two kilos so the whole boat with riggers is 15 and a half kilos so it's nice to know so it won't be stored with the riggers on because they basically they stick out too much so you can't get the boat cry against the wall it's the main reason and maneuvering the boat it's easier to put it on the car and carry it when it hasn't got these riggers sticking out 
the newer ones do have quick release riggers but I'll just have a 10mm nut and bolt to bolt mine on because it's a second hand one so I'm happy with that I'm going to get a spanner and a ratchet spanner to stay with the boat that are 10 millimeters, so they'll be used for taking the riggers on and off so you don't have to worry about well, where's the spanners I'll have a little kit that stays with the boat with the roof rack straps and all that sort of stuff now for the moment of truth I'm going to see if the boat fits in the shed. I know the the length of it fits but can I maneuver it into the shed and will the bracket system hold it? Let's wait, have a look and see what happens. As you can see, UK Penny's done it again. The system all works, all the engineering works. So, supporting the boat by the gunnel, I'm gonna put some rubber padding on here. So I'm just so stoked with that, it's a fantastic result. Boat just fits in the shed. A little bit of a gap at each end. There. Little bit of gap there. So I think I'd put the roof rack straps around the boat as well just to keep it a bit more secure on here. Okay, so there's a bit of flex, but it's 13 and a half kilos it's holding. Not too much flex there. It's a really good result. I'm really stoked with that. So probably for the first time in the boat's life it's going to be stored in a proper shed now so the shed obviously protects it from the rain the wind the uv from the sun and also dust sandblasting it too so all those weather conditions can ruin the boat shorten its lifespan so now it's got a secure dry nice place for storage i can give the boat a good wash good clean and then i'm going to have a look at what parts need replacing and what parts need to be ordered but I'm absolutely stoked with that result. It's quite a few hours of work over two days, measuring and drilling and doing everything. But I'm stoked to that. I've got this foam tubing. It goes outside pipes to keep them warm to avoid them freezing. So I'm going to, it's quite foam sort of stuff. You can cut it. I'm going to put some around this bar. So when you put in the oars, it's not going to scrape. And I'm going to put some around the top here and zip tie it just so when the boat's sitting there it's not going to get scratched so it's quite inexpensive handy stuff to use so the single skull has had a thorough wash now there were some old wasp nests right inside it underneath the seat and also inside the boat so I've given it a good clean good wash of the mild car wash solution you don't want to have too much detergent on it given it a thorough rinse I'm going to leave it air dry. I've cleaned up the hand grips a bit. May not end up needing replacing them, but at least it doesn't look completely gunged like it was before. So it's probably been 10 years since the boat's had a good wash. Who knows? Probably at least 15 years old. It's a little thoroughly dry, and I'll pack it back in the shed. Thank you. 